are at a hundred kilometers from Santiago. A hundred K. Here we go. Good. Should I not have? Had I known there was a mass, it might have went. Okay, so. Okay. Uh, we'll take a little bit of yeah, your. Sorry. Today we left Lugo, a big city that marks an important milestone for us. Only 100 kilometers separates us from Santiago, our final destination. Being so close, yet still having some way to go, brings out many feelings. Lugo is where many pilgrims start their Camino. To earn a Camino certificate, one only needs to walk the last 100 kilometers. Some do this as a bucket list item. Others might not have a full month for the entire route. And some people just want to experience walking for a few days. Everyone has their own reason. However, for us, reaching Lugo is a mix of feelings. The path will soon be busier, and the fewer kilometers left remind us of the journey's coming end. And all of us feel like we're not ready for this Camino to finish. Tom and Maria. Hey, hey, Tom and Maria. Thanks for having us. Hey, Irina. Cheers. Thanks, Adrian. Volker. Kevin. Javi. to go day 21 alberque in ferrera albergue ponte ferrera The good thing is, I think there's enough clothes to get to Santiago. Enough clothes? Worth it. All my kids have them. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I'll show you. I'll you show you the, the. Go after the money uh -huh. for 20 years. <laughs> He's it is crazy for? how these dogs are just free roaming, not on a leash. And they're so cute, they're so friendly. Day 21. It's my day 21. Tomorrow is going to be exactly three weeks that I have been on the road. We only have two days left. So the amount of kilometers left are melting down and it makes me very, very sad. I am not prepared to stop mentally, although I'm sure my body is. My feet are absolutely destroyed. But mentally, 
it's very difficult. I'm starting to get like this anxiety that I had at the beginning. I was excited and anxious to start the Camino. And now my anxiety is about finishing the Camino. That's it? Like, what do you mean that's it? Like it's over? Like I've done it? I have completed it and what's next? Um, it feels like it's just the beginning. It's, uh, there's the sign. This one says 64 kilometers and 800 meters left. Three weeks of walking. They have been so different. I've tried walking alone, completely alone for days. I've tried walking as a part of uh, a big group and we actually call our group a Camino family. It's beautiful. It's such a beautiful experience. I would say 10 days on the Camino, two weeks on the Camino is not enough. If I was to recommend somebody doing the Camino, I would recommend one month. Like even three weeks, I feel like uh, it's not enough. I would love to go longer, but unfortunately I can't. I was considering it at the beginning, but unfortunately I can't due to some circumstances. This forest is so beautiful. It's just gorgeous. Someone asked me yesterday, what lessons did I learn on the Camino? And even though I have realized some things, I think that on the Camino, during the Camino, we are so busy, uh, like walking, taking care of our feet, taking care of our body, looking for food, looking for the places to stay, talking to people, making sure you're on the right way, on the right path. I feel like during the Camino, we are mostly accumulating stuff um, and everything is gonna start settling down after the Camino, after we get back home. The Camino puts everything at test, everything. Your beliefs, your dreams, your values, your relationships with people. It really opens you up so you can't be somebody else. You can't wear a mask. You can't pretend to be somebody else. You are taken out of your comfort zone. You're put in um, very challenging situations. And every day the Camino tests you, every single day. It can be pain, it can be rain, it can be a health issue, it can be um, a friend or a fellow pilgrim who is in trouble or who is having some problems. And every day is like a challenge in a way. It is a challenge in a way. And it's like a whole life. So every day is a whole new life on the Camino. And it's beautiful because you can really see your true self and you can really see the true self of people that you are surrounded by. And this is why I think the friendships that form on the Camino, the relationships that form on the Camino, they're so pure, they're so beautiful, they're so strong because they're real. They're real, people are real. So the relationships are very real. Passing through a little village. I don't even know the name. I am not mentally prepared to say goodbye to my Camino family. It's amazing how close we got with each other in just one week. 
we're together the entire day, waking up in the same room, having breakfast, walking together, making sure each one of us is doing fine, checking in the same albergue, sharing the same room again, taking turns to take a shower, sharing a beautiful meal, glass of vino tinto, and going to bed all at the same time. I have never been so close with complete strangers. Two Caminos have merged and now the trail is getting busier and busier and we're getting closer and closer to Santiago. And for these reasons, I can't say I'm really enjoying this last couple of days. I didn't feel much on this day because I was, I guess I was just trying to be in the moment and spend as much time as possible with my Camino family. <sighs> Probably the last day to see those views. Here is what I wrote in my journal on that day. This Camino is not just a journey, it's a way of life, a rebirth. It has given me a new perspective, new way of thinking, new goals, new ideas. Life doesn't have to be complicated, we need so little to be happy. It's amazing how we are wearing the same clothes every day, no makeup, hair in a bun, and we see the real true beauty of each other. We don't need to sugarcoat, we don't need to wear masks, we don't need to pretend. We are who we are. Our values are exposed and being put at test every single day. Last day. Last, Last day. day. Last How day. do you feel about it? <laughs> Still want to do it. Last time we're going out. Pero refiriéndose a quién? Day 23, last day, arriving in Santiago, Ponchos. Rainy day. Mm. Here we go, 10 kilometers to Santiago, people traffic, people traffic. Wow. The black forest in Germany, it's not black, but it blocks all the sunlight. Getting closer. We are starting to see Santiago. Not yet. It's there. Oh. So we must Oh, no, no. 
Ahí ahí enfrente tuya. Enfrente, 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 qué bonito. Valencia. Ah, vale, vale, vale. Today is a very emotional day. Our group started to go back to our normal lives. Some people already left, some people kept walking. And today is the day when, it, when it's getting really, really emotional because you realize that the way is over and you have to go back to your normal life and you have to say goodbye to the people that are so, so dear to you, that are so important. On my way, I have found something more than I was looking for. I was looking for spending some time alone. I wasn't expecting much. I just wanted to be by myself, but I have found not only I've met so many beautiful souls on the way and everybody's so interesting with their own stories and experiences in life, but I am so grateful to have found a group of people that I can truly call a family. We were getting along. We spent one week together and we were getting along so well that Sometimes you don't get along well with, as well with people that you live with and see on daily day-to-day -day basis. There is no arguments, there is no conflicts, it just flows. The other day uh, we were doing laundry all together. One person basically like dumped all the clean laundry on the bed and um, we were 
dividing it. <laughs> and it was funny because we even know each other's underwear. We know each other each other's clothes. Like how close how closer could we get? We would sleep in the same room. Sometimes we would arrive at the albergue and they would just give us, because we were a group of seven, they would just give us a separate room and we're all together in the same room. We're waking up together at the same time. We're brushing teeth together. We're going to bed together. Uh, we eat together, we walk together. We spent one week walking and not taking a walk in the park. Walking across Spain sharing the hardships, <sighs> challenges, supporting each other. Such a beautiful experience. So yes, today it really hit me that the journey is over and I'm forever grateful for <clears throat> the way it happened for the way it has been <laughs> this guys did 1200 kilometers so today I made my way back to the square while the pilgrims arrive and I just feel like I want to stay here for a long time I'm just watching them pilgrims that are just arriving and their emotions and it's amazing like we all shared something that not everybody will understand because we know how it is to be walking we know how it is to have blisters now with feet we know how to be walking up and down the mountains all day long we know how it is to be sleeping at the albergues and etc etc how difficult it is sometimes to uh, to be on Santiago way and everybody had their own challenges and hardships and people meet people now have to say goodbye people share beautiful stories and uh, it's amazing how like today I'm bumping into people that I had met on the way and they're still arriving today. They're one, two days behind and we're all in the same city. It's as if like we all live in the same community. We all know each other. It's amazing. It's beautiful. That will be one of the most, most memorable experiences in my life. And this is something that I will remember for the rest of my life.